Welcome to talk about Topeka Live here at the Topeka Performing Arts Center. Uh, this section of Making Main Street, we're talking about Midwest Health with President and CEO Jim Klossman here, brought to you by GabLocal.tv. I'm your host, Chris Schultz, and we're excited to be able to talk with you, Jim. Thank you so Chris, much for being you. here. thank you. Love to be here. Appreciate you coming here and, thank you. and, and sitting down with us. Uh, now, you are like very involved in making sure that our community moves forward in, in the best directions possible. And you're actually, you're backing it up. You're getting involved and you're actually doing great projects and great things. Uh, I want to start off with Midwest Health and, sure. and your background there. And yeah. move into some of this cooler stuff as far as, you know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, got sure. We on? got started with Midwest Health 41 years ago. Seems like yesterday. But 41 years. 41 huh? years ago. Uh, senior living. So we started with one nursing facility here in Topeka. And over the 41 years, we've grown to a fairly large regional uh, provider. We have over 60 facilities in five states now. Wow, it's huge. That's huge. Pretty good size. Yeah. yeah. How many employees does Midwest Health have? We have about 3,000 employees wow. throughout the region. Very big. Right. And, and locally here in Topeka, what facilities do you, uh, you run? Uh, right here locally in Topeka, we have Homestead of Topeka. We have Lexington Park. We have Rolling Hills. Uh, we have Homestead of Auburn. Uh, those are just a few of the ones we have. Very nice, very nice. And, and you've been involved with the community. I know you were uh, you know, part of the, uh, the Shark Tank, or the, the Top Tank. Top Tank. We'll call it Top right, Tank. Yeah, uh, don't sue we us. We don't want to say Shark yeah. Tank. Yeah. <laughs> They'll probably sue us, but yeah. No, it was Top Tank. Yeah, Top Tank. And yeah. that was great. It brought a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of ideas, and it brought some, some investors together to try and make some of these things happen, right? Sure, that was uh, Cody Foster and Brent Bowles kind of had that idea and brought some of us in, and we said, look, that's... It's a great thing to promote for downtown Topeka. Let's bring some people in. Uh, let's find a winner, and we did. And uh, Brewbank won that. And uh, we're looking forward to them getting open in the near future. And there was a, a second place, the cheesecake. I'm, I'm ready for cheesecake. George, yeah, it's incredible. That right. had to be tough, you know, testing all that stuff. Well, yeah, it was very tough. <laughs> Particularly the, the alcoholic ice cream was the toughest, yeah, I think. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, that no, was great. We had Somebody's a great time. Good. Yeah. 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 Very good. So uh, what are you ex excited to see? A lot of, you know, you've been very involved in downtown development. Uh, you know, what are you excited to see about what's happening down there? Uh, you've got stuff going on uh, over off of Fairlawn over sure. there and all that. Well, a couple of different areas. So for sure that uh, downtown, uh, I grew up in Valley Falls, Kansas, which is about 30 miles northeast of here. And when I was growing up, downtown Topeka was just as vibrant as Lawrence, Kansas. Mm -hmm. And it was really a shame to see that uh, downtown Topeka kind of went downhill. Lawrence was doing really well. And so we recognized, along with other people, Cody Foster as well, that there was some opportunity in, in downtown Topeka to take these buildings, which are incredible, and rehab them and bring them back to life and really bring the vibrancy downtown that we really feel is necessary. And we really feel going forward, there's some high energy going on in downtown Topeka. Yeah, there, there was that period. I know I opened business up in, in 2002. Sure, exactly. You were and one of the first ones. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. If people at that time, if you, if you would have told them we we're going to have this you know, vibrant area coming and all the things that are happening, uh, all the developments happening, they, they would laugh at me back then. Well, they um, still laugh at us a little <laughs> bit too. But uh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's really exciting what's going on. Uh, I don't know that we'll ever get to be downtown Lawrence, but I'll tell you what, we'll be right behind them, if not better. So yeah. we're looking forward to doing it. The, again, the buildings have so much character downtown, yeah. and it's really fun to rehab them and bring it back to life. That's cool. And, and you find out a lot about these buildings. Is there anything specific in, in any of the buildings? Oh, sure. So we're, uh, we're working with Brewbank, actually, on one of our buildings right now, 822 Kansas, 822, 824. Mm -hmm. uh, 822 was actually where First Bite was originally, and that's mm -hmm. when I was in... You know, uh, we started our business and First Bite was downtown. We came down there all the time. So Brewbank is looking at that space right now, but the building itself, uh, the second floor, and, and most people have not seen the second floor, but it's incredible office space. It's, it's locked in time. Yeah. Uh, it's probably 50 or 60 years since anybody's been up there doing anything. Yeah. But that's actually where uh, Vice President Charles Curtis had his office at one time. I didn't know that. So the history downtown uh, is really pretty incredible. Absolutely, and and we're doing everything we can to try and preserve it, you know, and make these developments. The the plaza that's coming in. What sure. do you have to say about that? Well, the plaza is, I think, a very much key to the downtown too. So several of us took a, a trip up to South Dakota, Rapid City, to see what they did with their downtown, and talked to their uh, elders downtown, and and they put the plaza in 
and there was a lot of skepticism when they put theirs in, but we, when we went there, uh, it just totally turned around that downtown area for Rapid City. It's just the place to be, yeah. and it will be for downtown Topeka as well. Absolutely. We're, we're super excited about that. We are as well. Yeah. And, and of course, over off Fairlawn, you've got a development going on over there. We're seeing a lot of uh, clearing things out over there and, and new sure. things are going to be popping up. Well, that was our first office space in Topeka for Midwest Health was right there in that development. Uh, it was kind of crappy back then. It was crappier later. Yeah. So we went ahead and bought the property and with the idea that it's a great location, a great amount of people driving by there. And so we went ahead, went ahead and, and cleared the area, and we're right in the process right now of bringing in uh, some new restaurants, a new theater, uh, a new apartment building. Uh, so it's really going to be pretty exciting, as well as a new hotel, Marriott yeah. Hotel. It's, it's all very exciting stuff, and seeing, you know, as Topeka moves to its next level, you know, in, in our, our history and our, our evolution here. Uh, we're very bullish on Topeka. I think Topeka has so much opportunity going on, so Absolutely. we're really looking forward to it. Well, we're lucky to have you call the place home. Uh, and we're lucky We'd love to be that. home here, for sure. Absolutely. Well, thank you for all that you're doing. Thanks. Uh, and wish you the best of luck with everything. Of course, uh, keep us updated, please, on, on all this well, stuff. Well, absolutely, Chris, and thanks for what you're doing downtown as well. Absolutely. It takes a village, and sometimes I just hope I'm not the village idiot. Right? No, no. <laughs> if you are, then I am too, so yeah. <laughs> we could take turns. Yeah, well, there <laughs> you go. Sure. Yeah. That's Jim Klossman with yeah. Midwest Health. Uh, you can find out more about Midwest Health at midwest-health.com and like their Facebook page as well. Uh, that's our Making Main Street segment. And of course, uh, we're bringing it to you from gablocal.tv. And of course, we celebrate the people, places, events, and idea that make our communities great places to call home here on gablocal.tv. Jim Klossman, the president and CEO of Midwest Health, thank you again so much. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You bet. Yeah.